This is ITV2. Two families, but two very different holidays. Who knows, they might even like it. But don't count on it, it's Holiday Showdown. Rediscovering your favourite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. Over a million Brits flock every year to the Spanish island of Menorca where they soak up the sun on cheap and cheerful package deals. It's a favourite holiday destination for the Doherty family from the east end of London. There's no other family in the world better than my family. You've heard of Posh and Bex, haven't you? Well, we're Kim and Danny. And we're better than them. Port Antonio is an unspoilt area of Jamaica. Off the beaten track, it's one of the most exclusive places in the world. And it's the perfect location for the Plummer family from South London. We don't really enjoy something that, that's like, you know, what everybody else does, because it seems boring. The Plumbers and Doherty's are up for a challenge. They've never met, but they're convinced they can show the other family a good time on their favourite holiday. Feet are killing me, ankles are swollen up. What a poxy walk this is. We don't drink. We it's, do. But it's our holiday. But it's also ours as well. Oh. Two very different families. It seems very much an us and them type situation. Two very different destinations. It's extremely tacky. It is like Blackpool on sea. Holiday showdown. Cut it, because I've just about had as much as I'm taking from her. So I'm going to smack at one. The Doherty's are born and bred EastEnders. There's Dad, Danny, Mum, Kim, 12-year-old Jamie and 15-year-old Kerry. They live in Tower Hamlets, where Danny works on a market stall. Best cherry there, girls. Try me for you, bud. Guaranteed to give you the trucks all weekend. But it's Mum, Kim, who rules the roost. I'm very proud of being an EastEnder. Extremely proud. I wouldn't want to be anything else. Bullseye. The family are regulars at their local pub, where Kerry has a Saturday job. When I leave school, I want to be hairdresser during the day, and I want to be a barmaid as well. Our house in the middle of our street, our house the Doherty's have to save all year for their annual holiday to Menorca, and when they go away, it's on a tight budget. What I thought what we could do with the money is, like, work out roughly how much it is a day. Let's say £40 a day, like, if that's what the limit is. The Plummer family are also from London. There's Dad James, Mum Simone, 12-year-old Jay and 13-year-old Alia. They live in Greenwich, a wealthy area of South London. James is the director of nine different companies. I can be very argumentative. I like to have my own way. Uh, and um, I usually get my own way, I suppose. But it's Simone who controls the household, and as a former gymnast, she's particularly careful about what they eat. Healthy eating to me is extremely important because it means we can maintain health and happiness as a family. Oh, it's nice. it's cool. The plumbers can afford lavish holidays to Jamaica, which suit their daughter Alia's expensive tastes. When I go on holiday, I enjoy going to seven-star hotel type thing. Luxury. So, what will these two very different families who've never met before make of each other's holidays? They have no idea where they're going. It could be a bird-watching holiday in Scotland. <laughs> you must be joking. It could. It'd be great. I'm really looking forward to that. And not a package holiday. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done that before, are you? Well, people that like that. Yes, exactly. I don't intend to start now. You won't have a choice, dear. It's departure day, and the families will be travelling separately. Life is about adventure. This is going to be a once in a lifetime thing. We'll be stupid to miss it. The first week will be spent on the Doherty's holiday. 
what I would like to show the other family is EastEnders ain't all that bad. Do you need, like, three bottles of perfume? I don't think so. So, you won't take This is meat. mine. Uh... It's time via text message for the plumbers to find out where they're going. The message is, you're going on a package holiday to Menorca. <laughs> wow. wow. Brilliant. <laughs> Menorca's a lovely place. I've been there before. It's gorgeous. I'm happy with that, aren't we? We all said yeah, we'd go to a and like a package holiday. I knew it. Four hours later, the plumbers arrive at the dock at his two-star self-catering holiday resort. Next door, the Doherty's are also moving in. <sighs> oh, nice. oh, lovely, isn't it? It's pretty, nice. It's very pretty. Well, I wouldn't say it's pretty, but it's certainly well, nice. Well, just being by the sea is great. Yeah, it's not, it's not messed up and it's relaxing. Yeah. It's relaxing, it's cheap. Well, it's just like a normal family holiday, isn't it? Yeah, this it's is nice. what most Brits do. When we went to Turkey, it was not. It was nicer than this, but it wasn't it was much nicer. Well, well. James. Yeah, the house room was nice. It was a villa. The, yeah, but I'm just saying <laughs> the place. Detached in a rural... <laughs> no, but it I was, just... and, and cash is beautiful. How can you compare it? You can't compare it. I think they're going to... Fair enough, I think I'm going to be just like us. I really... I That's don't know, what I'm I've got. Yeah, I think they're just going to be normal, down-to-earth people that's going to enjoy themselves. I'm, I'm expecting them to be like the kind of people you would meet on a holiday. Yeah, like I've got this... I'm going to be real disappointed if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not, uh, the, only, the only bit, uh, the only bit, the only thing that I don't like is the nylon sheets. Everything else is fine. They're nylon. Yeah, sorry, I mean, that's that's going to be a problem. <sighs> but we we'll have to we we'll have to cope with that. After settling in, the Doherty's are ready to take charge and introduce themselves Hello. and their holiday. Oh, I'm great. What's your name? James. I'm Kim. Training her room is gonna wick me. Oh yeah, yeah, we're quite normal. We're we're more than normal, but a bit weird. A bit weird, yeah, but not too weird. If you don't have a good time, we will check your pulses. Because we really do have a good time. You know, a, a laugh and a mm. joke and whatever else. Can you all swim? Yes. Yeah, so that's good. Well, you're then get you're all getting chucked in. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We're going to go to the pool, beach, eat, drink. But we do... do you drink? Not a lot, but enough. <gasps> I'll have a beer. We do say. Yeah. Not a lot. I mean, when you say not a lot, what's no, not a lot? I'm I mean, you're well, not a big drinker. No, as long as Danny, you want your own mate? As long as we say <laughs> prayers before <laughs> every meal. No, so you want to sort yourself down. Does mummy and daddy let you have a drink? Does mummy and daddy let you have a drink? Don't you think you should ask mummy and daddy that? <laughs> yeah, no problem. As long as you only have two a day, it's all right. It's all right. No worries. It's yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, a holiday? Yeah, but uh, uh, the stuff She's allowed two a day, right? No, she can don't drink alcohol. Not at all. No alcohol. No, sorry. We, we let her have two a day. That's, that's, right, that's what one thing we draw a line at. Oh, uh, that's fine. We're going to have a really, really good time. We will. We certainly will. We will have. Yeah, yeah, we certainly will. We'll show you the best of Menorca, believe me. I thought the family were really warm. I think they're very really nice. Yeah, they, they, seem, they seem absolutely I fine to me. I think they're opposite to us. They're very different to us. They do not drink. It's like, <laughs> OK, and we do not smoke. It's like, OK. Yeah. What do you do for fun, then? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not a lot. We okay. just break them in gently to our... <laughs> yeah, well, they'll break us in gently, ways. whichever way you want to look at exactly. it. Exactly. Between us, we can have a load and load of fun. I could just tell by looking at her, she wants me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> But that's a character, and he's nice too, but he's a big character. Yeah, he's a big yeah. character. He'd be, he'd be but fine. But as long as he doesn't boss us around and get too drunk, we'll be fine. They've got to realise they're going to do what Kim wants, like me, on this holiday. Once she knows that I'm boss, then it's going to be sorted. Coming up, not everyone gets into the holiday spirit. I'm really trying to, like, please everybody. <laughs> And it's the holiday over before it's begun. I personally would like to go home because I've had enough. Rediscovering your favourite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. 
The reason I stopped drinking is because I came to the horrifying realization that I was turning into my mother. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Yes. Well, you ruined my life, so we're even. The minute you got pregnant, life as you know it ended. It's time you got ready for the dream-sucking monster which is about to shoot out of your hoo-ha and gobble up your life. You're a horrible woman. Mom, Monday at 9 on ITV2. Welcome. Hey, Charlie. Damn, I just got home from Vegas. You went out last night to return a video. Yeah, but I ran into a friend of mine who was getting married to Bellagio. Oh, that explains the tuxedo. Alan. I accept you and Cindy as lovers, and, and more power to you, sister. I think I'm sleeping with her. Uh-oh. And Jay. Call you. I hate this kid. They've moved in, and they're here to stay. Two and a Half Men continues weeknights at 8 on ITV2. Rediscovering your favorite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. It's the Doherty and Plummer family's first day in Menorca and they're all up early for their own style of breakfast. It's made with muesli, soya yogurt, soya milk and chocolate fruit. And for the rest of the day, they don't go far. For the Doherty's, this is what holidays are all about. Lounging by the pool, soaking up the sun and the beer. This resort is absolutely wonderful. I can't, there is not nothing that I can thought about it. But while the boys are getting to know each other, the parents are keeping their distance. The plumbers consider sunbathing and drinking unhealthy and have set up a separate camp in the shade. It seems very much an us and them type situation, like they're keeping to their four and like we're trying to include them in things but they don't seem interested. I've not heard one swear word come out of their mouth yet and Danny's like F this and F that and <laughs> whether they're thinking, oh my God, common tramp, I don't know. Kim has a budget of just £15 per person for each day they're here. It's what her family would normally have to spend and she's determined to make it last. We have breakfast and then we don't tend to eat until the evening time. We don't... I mean, you might have a snack and like a bag of crisps or something, snacky food, but we don't have three meals a day. Arnie has only had, like, croissant for breakfast and nibbled on some apple. I mean, I'm open to compromise. I'm not a complete bitch. We could just go to the supermarket and get some more fruit, get some apples, it'll keep us going till the next meal. It's only half a day in and Kim's already losing control of her budget and her holiday. I think they are slightly defensive, which is understandable because they're probably used to being with people that just eat the same food as them, and they probably think, oh, they probably think, God, they are snobbish. <laughs> which is fair enough, I don't mind them thinking that. I know we're, we're the complete opposite, and she's probably thinking, my God, <laughs> we're full on and she's not used to it. But, give her, you know, at the end of the two weeks, she will get used to it. You know, I ain't going to change to please her. For the Doherty's, the perfect end to their day is a barbecue at their resort. Thanks. But not everyone seems so keen. We had a barbecue tonight and we even arranged for there to be vegetarian stuff and pastas and salads and, and even that didn't please her. I think whatever we do ain't going to be good enough. So when you say beans, what sort of beans? Beans, baked beans. Oh. Unimpressed with the menu, Simone has resorted to sneaking in her own supplies. Do you like the food? Simone, do you like the food? It's very basic, so just having salad and cheese. So but is it nice? Not particularly. <laughs> nothing special and thin sweet corn. <laughs> Would you eat chips? No. Um, I like it. Is it like that? Is it alright? This isn't. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing to say. Yeah. Yeah, what can you say? It's not horrible, it's like it's filling my stomach. No, it's dripping on the nothing else to say about it other than that. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> got nothing nice to say, then don't say nothing at all, basically. 
you know, and I just think I'll get on with it. We're not trying to judge them or destroy what they do <laughs> or make them be anything other than they choose to be. And I, I, I think that maybe, you know, Kim today was actually asking about the food I cook at home, so there's maybe some self-reflection going on as well, which is great. Oh, way of eating is the biggest load of I've ever heard. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just eat what... You don't have to go to that extreme to be healthy. The next morning, Kim, Kerry and Simone take a trip to the local supermarket. But once again, Simone has her own ideas about what they should be eating. James doesn't eat tuna, neither do I. Doesn't no one eat chips? You don't eat dairy Do you want cheese? I don't like the look of it, actually. Some of these cheeses are actually really nice. They're typical There's Spanish cheese. There's this cheese in the fridge. It's up to you. I mean, I don't, I don't want cheese like anyway. I'm just saying because... Yeah. It's really awkward to go shopping with you are. Quite expensive, actually. I'll have a bag of crisps instead. The constant yeah, disagreement over food is really upsetting Kim, and back at the apartments, she suddenly cracks. I'm really trying to like please everybody. And I just feel as though like, everything I'm saying is like the wrong thing. Kim decides to tackle the situation head on and calls a crisis meeting with the plumbers. I personally would like to go home because I've had enough <laughs> now. Really? Right, yeah, yeah. I've had enough. Well, but, but why do you think I'm in here? I don't know. To it's sort things bad. out. I personally don't feel as though you're trying to enjoy this holiday. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, well, hang on a second, hang on a second. Surely we don't want to try to enjoy it. We're just well, going to enjoy it anyway. Are. Yeah, but I don't think you are. I don't yeah, think you, you are enjoying it. Yeah, we're not, we're not enjoying it. I mean, I've been... I've been I had a, there are aspects I, that we enjoy, but there's aspects we don't. For yeah. example, what staying, staying in a place for more than 48 hours, not seeing anything outside, we haven't actually seen our environment that we actually in, live in, the actual nature of the place. All we have seen is this concrete area. And you don't eat throughout the day, you're just drinking and snacking on whatever you snack on. To me, that is not going to conduce a feeling of well-being. We don't drink anyway. And to sit in the heat without eating anything is basically unhealthy. But well, we that's can't... That's what we have to do. We do our holiday and then you have to do what we do. And then next we week, whatever you do, we have to do we what you do. We understand that entirely. Mm. We're not saying that you shouldn't do that, but you can't make us enjoy staying in one place all the time like that because for us that's not enjoyment. If I was being perfectly honest, I'd have to say that the way you talk to us is kind of hostile. Explain, way you... I don't understand what you're talking See, exactly, about. just like the way you're talking to us. Well, sorry, that's the way I speak. I don't understand um, what you're saying. To be honest, that's why I'm Slightly, it's, it's because you seem to be very defensive about everything. Yeah. Because I think there's a huge amount of this is about misunderstanding, and it's not and about... And a huge well, amount of pettiness can we, well. Yeah, but, yeah, but I don't think... Can we just stop there for a second? What? Exactly, that's what I say. I vote for what you say. I say just make a fresh start. I honestly don't mm. think that there's really that much of an issue here. It accepts the differences because they're there. Even the conversation, she still was, in my opinion, was still having her little sarcastic comments like pettiness. Was that digging at me? She was hostile and not, not exactly friendly. I mean, they're meant to be the host and hostess, and it was more like the jailer than <laughs> the prisoner. <laughs> she was having a big over her drinking, but I mean, I, I've had an alcohol free day today. I'm just thinking of saving the money in the budget for a sour cream milk to go with a sour <laughs> face. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think nothing's been resolved. I really don't think nothing's been resolved. After a difficult day, the dock at his head for the chippy. It's a taste of Menorca Simone could do without. So what are you still going to be eating tonight? Yeah, I'll tell you what, the fish looks we, really We might good. have fish and get a salad on the way back. What, fish from here? Yeah. yeah. It's good to cod, obviously. The cod have to come in larger fillet and then they're cut in half. Is that what you want, darling? It's not battered. Oh. It's not battered. No, it's I great. won't have it, sorry. No, it's OK. Yeah. You get what you want, James. You, 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 oh, you want right, it? Right, change your mind again. I don't want to bits of fish. Live dangerously. Live dangerously. Only get once. Go for it. Have a bag of chips. There you go, sorted. And it. Uh, okay.
There's nothing worse than being on holiday with someone that you can't stand. But she's just making things so difficult. I feel really, really depressed, actually. Um, it's been a bad day from more or less start to finish. To lift their spirits, the Doherty's decide to join the organised entertainment at the resort. Hello, sir. What's your name again? James. 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 Where are you from? I'm from SE10. From SE10? OK, moving along. What do you do for a living, Danny? Uh, I'm a prostitute. You're a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? I'm going to do something. I'm going to call out several items. First of all, I want you to go out there and find me a ladies' bra. How do you go? Quick as you can. <laughs> ladies' bra. Come on, girls, give it on. <laughs> Give it your best. Come on, clap him along, guys. It's extremely tacky. It is like Blackpool on sea. It's because it's full of northerners, basically. It's like Blackpool in, in, in Spain. I mean, you, there's hardly a Spanish person in sight. In fact, everybody here is from, pretty much seems to be from the north of England, with the exception of ourselves. Normally when you go on holiday, you have freedom to explore the place where you're staying, not live in the sort of artificial goldfish bowl. The children, who are getting along better than the parents, have suggested a way out of the goldfish bowl, a trip to the local aqua park. I think this place is absolutely fantastic. It's got everything that you could possibly want. This, this is basically this day is for the kids as much as for everyone else. But, I mean, I'm like a big kid myself, so I'll probably do what they do. Jay and Alia have never been on a package holiday before, and to their surprise, they're really enjoying it. The first couple of days were a bit hard, but then once you get used to the family, it's really good. Alia's more talkative. She talks like we talk to each other a lot more than what we did because before it would just be like, oh, you're right, yeah, and it'll be total silence for the rest of the day. But now we, we are getting along a lot. Are you going to get like one of those pictures? Yeah. The kids have been getting on with each other more than the parents because I think we have a lot in common. And it's not so stressful for the kids so they can like think about each other. Me and Jay will probably stay friends in England when we get home. It's the last night of the Doherty's holiday and in a final attempt to show the plumbers a good time, they're taking them out on the town. The evening is turning into a success. Simone may not like being in bars, but as a professional backing singer, she can't resist taking to the stage.
sum up the whole experience of this past week, I mean, there's one word I would say would be stressful. Uh, we've had a good time, I think, uh, basically. Um, kids have had a very good time doing the things that they wouldn't do, I guess, if, they, if I was in charge, because <laughs> I'm sergeant. We seem to be getting on fine, and today has been the absolutely perfect day to end an holiday on. And, like, you know, we've done our holiday, and tomorrow we're off on, on their holiday. After their week in Menorca, it's time for the Doherty's to hand over control to the plumbers. And time for the plumbers to reveal the second holiday destination. It's a place called Port Antonio, which is on the northeast coast of Jamaica. Jamaica! Oh, yes! Oh, lovely! Oh, brilliant! Right, can we go then? Let's go now! <laughs> After the break, the Doherty's get a real taste of Jamaica. That was lovely. <laughs> and Kim gives the plumbers a right mouthful. Okay, because I've just about had as much as I'm taking from us. Rediscovering your favourite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. Thank you. With a whopping great dose of the hot stuff. Oh, my God. Get some sun on these flipping freezing winter nights with help from the A-team of Holiday Red. We've got a fun summer ahead of us now. We're eh? taking you to a paint party tonight. I don't want to go to the paint party. All I want to do is tan. <laughs> it's the most sun you're going to see this side of summer. That's not nice, Magaloo. Yeah. I thought that Magaloo would be full of chav, yeah. but it's actually all right. Kick a guest out of the oom bedroom. Oh, no. My room's open. Go in there. Can we just cuddle up as friends? <laughs> The fun in the sun continues. The Magaluf Weekender, Sunday at 9 on ITV2. You will lose the Bad Dad show. Oh, we'll see. My dad quickly closes the laptop every time I walk into the room. You're a peach. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a ghost? Oh, fully simple. You can't lock a fridge. I need food to live. The brand new series, Dads, Monday at 9.30 on ITV2. Rediscovering your favourite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. After their week in Menorca, the Doherty and Plummer families are on their way to Jamaica. They're travelling away from the tourist trail to the northeast coast of Port Antonio, a remote hideaway for the rich and famous. For James, who's half Jamaican, it's like coming home. He has his own house nearby, which he rents to locals. So for this holiday, they'll be staying in a luxury villa. It really is gorgeous. Whoa. <laughs> I like everyone's very happy. You're very happy, good. Very, very, very happy. That's the Caribbean Sea. That looks nice, doesn't it? <gasps> Jet ski! Oh, lovely. Jet ski and a boat. Jet ski and boat. That's a beautiful place. Nice. It's like off the telly. Oh, it's got three bathrooms. Ooh, it's heaven. Awesome. It's a lovely place. I've got, I mean, it's a beautiful place. Nice. Something that um, Robbie Williams would have or Carly Minogue would have, but Kim Doherty would never have it. What do I think that water is? And that's in the middle of the night and we can still see the bottom. God, I can't wait to f in that. <laughs> I'll change the colour. Three hours ago, yeah. two big sand sharks. Sharks? Right but the sand sharks don't on you. <laughs> it's a shark, Jamie. Oh, Dad. It's all on you. Well, it's a shark. Well, the villa also comes complete Hi. with its very own Thank cook. You. Thanks. I see you've got soya milk in there brown and brown bread. <laughs> so so you see we're off to a good start then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, my God. What is it, a group, grouper? No. Oh, snapper. Snapper, snapper. very big snapper, Jesus, isn't it? Snapper fish. Is it like cod? Mmm. We certainly shan't go hungry here, that is for sure. Well, you might not, but it's, this ain't my sort of food, I'm afraid. 
When the families finally sit down for dinner, there's more bad news for Kim. Now that the plumbers are in charge, they're laying down the law. We don't drink at home, really. So are you saying that I can't have beer in? Well, we prefer not to, if that's Can all right. Can you ask why? Because we don't drink. But when we do. But it's our holiday. But it's also ours as well. Well, I, I mean, I look, I, I personally don't have a problem with a beer, but it's just like a lot of beer. I don't really want to get into a whole drinking thing because I just think it's, you know, it's about a different experience, isn't it? And there's lots of bars around here and there's but lots of places... But you don't want to go out to a bar? OK, well, we can compromise if you want to drink moderately, but, um, cause, what but not to have... Moderately? We'll say two, two beers a day during the day and not well, drinking all day. I don't drink all day, and if I do drink all day, you never see me drunk. And how about the smoking? Can I smoke in here? Not the inside of the house. So no. I can't smoke and I can't you can, drink. You can smoke outside. So what, what can I, mean, I do on this holiday? Surely you can see how beautiful the place is, and all you have to do is step outside onto the balcony to have a cigarette. All you have to do is go onto the balcony... Well, I don't like being told that I can't because no, you tell I, me I can't no. and I will light up right this minute. If I get a cigarette out now, she says that I'm going to smack her because I'm so angry. I am really angry and I can't look at her right now and I can't do nicey nicey. I did bend over backwards in Menorca to try and please you and you're just now thinking, now the shoe's on the other foot, I'm going to make you suffer. No. I don't think that's at all. Not at all. Well, why should I give well, up my stuff? Because they're actually healthy things. I, I, that are I don't doing care about good. healthy things. I don't, I don't care about being healthy. Us. To me, that's. No, no, no. You're no. not buying the You know what? Beer. I'm getting really off. Extremely off now because, you know, it's 24 hours and all we've asked for is some beer. I've not asked to have half your money. I've not asked for anything else apart from some beer. In Menorca, you ate and drank what you want. Yes. And right, in Jamaica, we can't eat and drink what we want. You're experiencing our holiday, and we're trying to compromise by saying, OK, have beers, but then we'll have a moderate amount in. Just a very quick question. If I choose to have an egg, egg and bacon, can he get it for me? Well, no, we've chosen that the food on so this holiday... So I've got to eat what you eat, then, haven't I? Will you know be... what? Cut it, cos I've just about had as much as I'm taking from her. Cos I'm going to smack at one. Stupid I'm I'm the bad guy. I heard her saying you when she went up the stairs. I don't mind if she wants to see me as being a um that's her choice. I wanna punch something. I wanna punch her. I don't think you're the only one on your holiday, don't get on with her. I think we've compromised as much as we need to, in all honesty. Anything else would just be like foolish. Mm. You know, oh, chef, you know, go and run here and get this. Chef, you must get this. Suitcases ain't even unpacked. I don't mind putting them back in a van tomorrow and shoot off. Doesn't worry me. It's not going to have a better time in East London with real people. OK, if I wanted a time like this, I could go down to a clothes shop and sit with a mannequin. Because that don't eat much neither. They just have to go to sleep and in the morning... Hopefully they'll have clearer minds about it. It is just being very childish. There's no two ways about it. So what are you going to do, honey? When I've got a clear head, I'll let you know what I'm going to do. I can't think straight right now. The room's spinning around while I'm so tired. It's the family's second day in Jamaica. But will it be Kim's last? Wishing and hoping for the best. Well, I've unpacked, <laughs> which I weren't going to do, but I've, I have unpacked. Um, I haven't got any bad feelings. I, I, we're here on holiday. I don't want to live in a nightmare. It's a nice place, so, you know, I'm just keeping myself to myself at the moment. I'm not causing any problems. You've got two bees in the same... two queen bees in the same honeypot, and one's, one's got to give. And I dare say that could well happen here, of all places.
For a true taste of downtown Jamaica, the plumbers have arranged a trip to the local market. Mike Tyson! <laughs> Thank you, sir. On this holiday, the plumbers are in charge of the money. And with £1,800 to spend, it's three times more than the Doherty's had in Menorca. Everyone, if you see things you want to buy, you can buy them, because right. it's going to give everyone some spending money anyway. Is, is there a limit? Well, yeah, naturally. Yeah. What <laughs> is it? There's no, there's no I just want to know how to break them down. If you see that. something you really like, just say. Yeah. It's a far cry from his market stall in London, but Danny can't resist a bit of wheeler dealing. 350 Is that the best you can do, young lady? It's nice. How much are these? $300. Is that a lot of money? 300 Jamaican? No, it's not a lot of money. It's five, six, five quid or something. Give me three. I'll go on to 50. No, you can't sell for that. But I love you. I love you too. I love you more. Give us a hug. I love you too. <laughs> I love you. I'll have it for free, darling, because I love you. Anyone? Do you wanna... Anyone. Anyone? Thank you. My mum's going to be over in a minute with the money. Simone? <laughs> Don't muddle the money up, darling, because that's well, like... You put them all together. No, I didn't. I gave them to you and you put them in your bag. I didn't put them in there. I've got it. Yes! Yes! Oh, rock man! <laughs> I love it. I've got mixed emotions because one minute I want to punch her face in and then the next minute she's just been nice to me. And... I'm not quite sure. She even bought me six beers from the supermarket. Me's having a great time. Ah, uh, yeah. And it is so beautiful here. We want to live here. But me, me wouldn't come back here if we had to come back with them. I'd rather come back here with f***ing Hannibal Lecter. It's the annual Jerk Chicken Festival in Port Antonio, a celebration of the country's national dish. James is keen to show the dock it is the Jamaica he loves. Can I ride there? I'm going to I'm calling everybody. It's over here. It's over here. This way. Obviously, James has been here before because we went to a festival that was actually named after him. It was called the Jerk Festival. Atmosphere was extremely good. Um, really good music. A really good day. But with the temperature reaching a sweltering 100 degrees, the dock at his spirits are flagging. Not my idea of fun at all. Stuck in the middle of well over a thousand people. Everyone's pushing and shoving and sweating hot. I'm trying to keep tabs on the kids. Couldn't enjoy it. Danny has had enough. I'm quite happy at the house. I'm, I'm quite happy anywhere as long as I'm in the shape. If I, had, if, if I had a choice, I'd rather be at the house. The parents can't agree on what to do next, and to prevent yet another row, the, the kids step in and call for a vote. Stay in house and food, then go. Put your hand up if you want to stay. Stay or go. Food, and then we can go. Put your hand up if you want to stay. Stay or go. Food here or food at the house. I want to stay in it. They vote to stay for lunch, but the only space the docketers can find is by the rubbish bins. How is atmosphere? It is. Now we're in the shade. It might be nice in the shade, but as I say, I can smell and that isn't. There's no way to sit. Terrible. Sit on the bag here. I don't want to sit on the bag, thanks, then. Once again, a rift is opening up between the families, and it takes 12 year old Jay to point this out. They want to go. I don't care. Jay, this is our holiday. And James isn't about to let the Doherty's forget it. This is more than a holiday for James Plummer. It's a return to his roots. I first came here in the 19, late 1970s, actually, and I just drove around the island and stopped here. And after coming back a few years, I thought I wanted to build a house. And it took about 10 years to build a house. It's got four bedrooms. How many rooms? Four bedrooms? Four bedrooms? Yeah, four bedrooms. It's a big house. It's bigger than this. When the hurricane blew up, I had half the people in the village come and lived in it, stayed in it, because it's one of the few structures that remain standing. It's extremely well built. 
But the next day, James's beloved Jamaican home isn't quite what the dockers is expected. It looks like it's been caught in a twist. <laughs> well, if, if we sleep here tonight, you've got to say oh, good night, Grandma, <laughs> good night, Grandpa, <laughs> good night, John Boy. <laughs> Look at us. Oh, we ain't got to stay here all day, have we? <laughs> <laughs> that way sorry I spent 10,000 quid to build it the shape of it isn't exactly how I would necessarily have designed it but the reason they built it in this square shape is that it's very secure so basically fortress. when you shut the door it's like a fortress you can't get in it's extremely well built because when we built it we, we, we screwed it to the rock The house is looked after by one of James's friends. And it's one plumber home where smoking is clearly permitted. So what's this? Is this the old smelly wacky becky? Nothing. <laughs> you smoke that? Yes. Yeah. All right, on. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a danger sign on it, actually, like, do not enter, even with a coat of paint. <laughs> nah, sorry. Nah. <laughs> I'd rather live in this tree than live in that. I mean, that is... That is grossly disgusting. I I don't like it. I think it's a rubbish hole. I don't want to stay there much longer because I'm a bit bored and something to do. Simone has decided to give the Doherty's a taste of traditional Jamaican food, grilled fish and breadfruit. Who would like some food? It's horrible. No, is it? It is horrible. No, but I have I all the fish. They, they make fun of it because the people went to a lot of trouble to cook it. Fine if you don't like it. Right, good. <laughs> now, give it to that skinny little dog that walks around here. That could do with fattening up. It's been caught from the ocean. They just, they just got but it from the ocean. It's completely fresh, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is really spicy. It's not different. It's good. It is disgusting. They're not used to being in this environment, then they get stupid. It's just ignorance, really. They think, mm. eh, you know, like. <laughs> With the main course not going down too well, it's on to dessert. Can you eat this bit, you know? It's so important. Oh, it's yours. Yeah, it's so important. Cool. Yeah. It'll go everywhere. <laughs> no, you don't eat that bit. <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> Next up, the Doherty's get jungle fever. Toughen up a bit and then have a spirit of adventure. I am toughening up a bit, that's why I'm speaking my mind, because I'm not going to sit there like some little girl and take it all in. And the plumbers are in paradise. Fantastic, beautiful. Find places that are completely unspoiled like this. It was horrible. Bloody horrible. Rediscovering your favourite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. The reason I stopped drinking is because I came to the horrifying realization that I was turning into my mother. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm sorry, did I hurt your feelings? Yes. Well, you ruined my life, so we're even. <laughs> the minute you got pregnant, life as you know it ended. It's time you got ready for the dream-sucking monster which is about to shoot out of your hoo-ha and gobble up your life. You're a horrible woman. <laughs> Mom, Monday at 9 on ITV2. The search has begun. This is your chance to show Britain and the world your talent. We're looking for the exceptional, the sensational, the incredible. Have you got what it takes to be the next winner of Britain's Got Talent? Attraction! Well, what are you waiting for? You've still got time to be part of one of the biggest shows on television. We're holding a one-off open day on January the 25th in London. For full details, go to itv.com forward slash talent. Rediscovering your favourite shoes with Shoal 2-in-1 Corn Express Pen and ITV2 Daytime. The Plummer and Doherty families have two days left in Jamaica. And although the parents may be acting like kids, 
the children are refusing to let the rowing spoil their holiday. Me and Ali have stuck, so that we've been we've stuck together through it. You know, and it don't really bother Jay and Jamie that much because they're quite young. I think I feel the same as well. We st we've still been friends even though our parents are arguing. It's a bit childish because it's such stupid things they argue about and stuff. The kids, we just we just get on with it. Yeah, I think it's easier to make friends when you're a kid than it is to make friends when you're grown up. Surrounded by such stunning scenery, the plumbers decide to show the Doherty's their idea of paradise. And they won't let a heavy shower dampen their spirits. What a bloody poxy walk this is. Feet are killing me, ankles are swollen up. Down the rain. Nope. Keep going. Mm. I say don't shelter under a tree in a thunderstorm. Got no choice out here. It takes an hour of hard trekking in humid tropical heat for the families to arrive at their destination. We're on our way back now anyway, so we're, we're all going to come no, back. Exactly. We've got a horrible walk back. Yeah, but you've got to walk here to enjoy the beauty, that's the whole point. Yeah, you've got to walk a little way. No, but it's one of those places where you're walking by, you'll see it, you go for a little swim, come out and carry on walking. It's not a place you'll stay all day. You're really. being rude, darling, but I'll allow really, you to be you're rude because you're a child. And, well, I'm sure if you had had enough as well, you would be getting rude, yeah, but darling, right? Hang on, yeah, hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Yeah, I understand that. When I was in Min Menorca, I had my face painted up and acting like, you think like an idiot. Do you think I like it? We no, didn't go crying. Seen. You should have seen. No, no. we're not going to make some big drama. We're not, not babies. Drama. Toughen up a bit and then have a spirit of adventure. I am toughening up a bit. That's I why know. I'm speaking my mind. Because I'm not going to sit there like some little girl and take it all in. That's why I'm speaking well, my it's mind. It's like a hard, you know. You've Hang had on, a really anyway. tragic experience, haven't you? Climbing up a bit of a rock. You've had a yeah, pool. Yeah, a bit of a rock. Because that walk was horrible. That walk, I would never do that rock walk again. If I had known, I would never have come. I would have said from the beginning, no, I don't want to come. But we, as the, as the holiday thing is, we experience your holiday, and we've done that, and we don't like it. You've got no manners to speak to an adult like that. Anyway, should we just agree to disagree and walk up the hill? How about that? Don't worry. It's the Last Supper, and the family's final opportunity to tell each other face to face what they really thought of their holidays and each other. There has been times when I could have quite easily smacked you right in the face. <laughs> well, you said that that first night I when we came here. Quite easily, because you really, on the times, have really f***ed me off big time. You seem to think I'm the bad one or the one that's diffusing everything, but I've tried many on many occasions to, to keep the peace. I respect Danny for the fact that he's looked to, to keep a happy atmosphere between all the parties, and he's like really, you know, there's been times when he could have got off about this, that, that, like I could have got off, but he hasn't. But he he's ha gonna... No, he has. He has been off, big time off. You've got to take the good with the bad, so Obviously, we've had our clearly. bit. No, we've had our bit, which we haven't particularly enjoyed, but. It's supposed maybe it's even taught us a lesson. We can all learn something from the kids. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, no, I mean, we'll... just, just the long and short of the story is we're never going to go on holiday together again. No. <laughs> never. But they might. We're not going to be best mates and round each other's yeah. asses no. and things like that. This is probably going to be the last time we see one yeah. another. I think out of the both 
um, holidays and that, I still believe that Menorca is the best. Well, that's and good. <laughs> There's still fine for you to feel that. And I, I will feel maintain that, I feel that, that Jamaica correct. is the best. This is more wild, and obviously this is where my heart is, so that's why I prefer here. Having karaoke and staying in these places and going go-karting and all those things were new to me, but I had a really good time. And, I think and that's what it's, it's all about, Alia. Exactly, it's even if it's new, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Menorca is the place to be. <laughs> Fair enough. Go on, you make the toast. Well, no, you make the toast. Go on, Jay. You Danny. make the toast. It's to all of us. Good and bad. All of us. Yeah, it's to all of us. Regardless, mm. we're all one. One love. There hasn't been much love between the adults on this trip, but with the children, it's a different story. The kids have proved that with the right attitude, it's possible to have a great time on anyone's holiday. <laughs> the message to James um, is, you know, you're, you're not as important as you think you are. Um, you know, you're nothing to me. Yeah, I forgot about you already. Kim. Darling, lighten up a bit. Um, there's no need to have an argument at the drop of a hat. I did lose my temper quite a bit at the time, and, you know, I shouldn't have done. I should have been more mature and more grown up about it, but she would make a saint swear. Hopefully, if I had to be in that situation again, I would be a bit more diplomatic. I think you can learn more by sitting down and watching the children, because basically it's like United Nations they've never met before and they all sat down at the same table or the same pool, and they got on terrifically. Maybe I learned a lot about myself, about what I'm really like or what my family's really like. You know? So I think it was good. We got along, there was no arguments, unlike some people. Basically, the children had more sense than us. You know, we was up there on our aisles and our principles and all that, and they had none. All they had was fun and friendship. I think everyone needs that.